this is Department of Health and Social Care, and I want them to know that I'm angry. If no one else is going to hold the government to account, I'm duty bound to hold the government to account. In September, I came here to this department because I was really worried about what I was witnessing unfold with the COVID pandemic. So today we were supposed to be in court. Our message to the court would have been, we're not playing your game. And we'd have sat down and put our fingers in our ears because no one's listening. Congratulations, you have been rescued. Please do not resist. The sickness report in 2016 told them that we needed to prepare. And instead, they kept stripping our hospitals. They kept taking nurses off and putting them on temporary contracts. So they knew what was coming and they feathered their own pockets instead of doing what was necessary for the people. This is what democracy looks like when they've destroyed it as much as they have, with all their psyops and the media lying and twisting. 100,000 deaths, do you remember when they said 20,000 would be bad? I would like to see people being able to question the government and actually say, why is this happening without the lies and the bullshit. For me, this proves everything that in the run up to it, we were saying about the climate crisis. The science is there, and instead of dealing with it, they're putting money in their own pockets and they're lying to us about what is going on, and that's not acceptable. I can sleep at night knowing that I'm acting because I have to act, because I'm not ever going to stay silent. Boris Johnson at the start of this said, let's take our Clark Kent glasses off and show the world what a free economy looks like. This is what that looks like. 100,000 deaths. It's ludicrous to me that they want people like me in court and Alette in. The real criminals go.